The Mission Aransas uh, National Estuarine Research Reserve is one of 28 reserves uh, in the U.S. So we all uh, National Estuarine Research Reserves have uh, what's called a system-wide monitoring program. And I think the real strength of this monitoring program is the fact that all the different systems use exactly the same equipment, we use exactly the same protocols, and we actually cross-train all the uh, technicians that are involved so that we get really good, high-quality data that can be compared uh, between all the reserves. Temperature 22.45 degrees Celsius, conductivity 31 point uh, oh and So the backbone of this uh, swamp program, as we call it, system-wide monitoring program, is uh, water quality measurements and meteorological measurements. So we have, at the Mission Aransas Reserve, we have five uh, permanent stations that measure these uh, water quality parameters, and we have one uh, meteorological station. So at each of these stations, uh, we're measuring a number of different water quality parameters, water temperature, salinity, oxygen, uh, pH, chlorophyll, and, um, and turbidity. And uh, we're doing that at 15 minute intervals. We do that 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year. Tell me when. Go now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're taking samples of zooplankton that uh, we're going to take back to the lab and enumerate for uh, species distribution abundance numbers. Yes, yeah, so once we get them back in, we take them into this lab and we run them through this flow cam. And uh, what it does is analyzes a few milliliters of the sample, runs it through a high resolution laser camera. And um, what it does is just single out different organisms that are in those few milliliters. And what you can see here, we had 171 different organisms in a few mils that we've had. So it's a pretty cool machine to have. Really, really makes life a lot easier. You know, the, the point of all these uh, water quality measurements and other biological measurements we're making is to really try to provide uh, the information that is needed by uh, coastal managers uh, to really solve real world problems. So instead of just doing science for science sake, we're really trying to do it in a context that allows coastal managers to solve the kinds of problems that they, they need to solve. Mm -hmm.